and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some five color Niv Mizzet. That's right, we're building a Niv Mizzet deck the old fashioned way. You know, like casting our spells. We're not playing Fires of Invention. So this is Niv Mizzet without Fires of Invention. Of course, this is Niv Mizzet Reborn we're talking about. And so we have a ton of different awesome multicolor spells that we have in our deck that we want to be able to grab with Niv Mizzet. Um, first, if you don't know Niv Mizzet Reborn, of course, it costs one of each color, five mana, six, six flyer. Whenever it enters the battlefield, just the top 10 cards of your library, you reveal them. And then for each color pair, such as you can take one, uh, for each color pair, you get one card from among those 10. So you can take one is it card, Rouse an is it card, because it costs blue and a red. And this is a Selesnya card. It costs a green and a white. And so for basically each guild, you can take a card. And so we're trying to spread out the guilds um, and trying to make it so our Niv Mizzets just draw, you know, like four or five cards each time that we play them and, uh, you know, use that to kind of outgrind our opponents. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of like what our deck's all about. So we got 27 lands. Got a pretty tricky mana base uh, to make work. Um, we have the one Golos in here that, of course, doesn't get hit, but it it helps uh, fix our mana if we don't have the five different colors. And, of course, the Mizzet you can't grab either. Um, yeah, this deck has tons of one-ups because whenever you get to s look 10 cards and you get to you know select cards that you want to take, it's good to have a lot of different options. So whatever like whatever cards you need at the time, you can grab uh, whatever cards help you help you out at the time. Um, yeah, this deck has a lot of cool stuff going for it, and hope that hope that y'all like it. Hope it plays pretty well. As far as winning games, of course, we're going to be attacking with our 6-6 six, six flyer. We'll have Hydroid Crisis be a huge flyer because we'll be this deck's going to have a lot of mana. Um, a big explosion can draw a bunch of cards. Um, Rouse Minus can like copy some stuff. You know, we could like Rouse Minus Casualties of War, like that could be really cool. Um, or Enter the God Eternals. Um, you know, Ravager Worm can eat up a a castle from the opponent side and be a good haste creature there. A lot of cool stuff in this deck. And let's get to it. We're going to play like four matches over and ranked with it. Uh, no, I, I hadn't really thought about running any gateway plazas. I, I could see the gateway plazas helping out, though. I could see that helping. Hey, Kyrian, welcome to the Friday stream. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> All right, let's see what we got. Hmm, no blue mana. This the temples really help this deck. Really help setting stuff up, though. Sure, we'll keep it though. If we draw blue land. We're gonna be in business. Hello, because we got the rest of the colors. We need blue to grow spiral, speed us up. If I didn't have this temple, like, if, if this was Overgrown Tomb, I'd probably mulligan. I don't know. It'd be tough. It'd be harder to keep if that was Overgrown Tomb, not Temple. But with the temple, that just gave us, like, that extra little dig to look for a blue land. Looks like our opponent's probably playing the Sultai Ramp. Yep, so it looks like they're the Sultai Ramp. Uh, do not want them to play Circuitous Route here. Do not want to see that.
Got all the colors. Paragon. Okay. This looks like a Sultai Flash, not Sultai Ramp, which is probably worse for us because Niv Mizzet is a very easy card to counter. So this is Sultai Flash. It should mean that they're playing a good amount of counter spells, and that's not so great for us. Hey, thank you so much there, Kieran. Thank you. Thanks for that resub. I appreciate that. Okay, the all right, and that gets us to our next sub goal also. So the the good news of them playing in like the bad news is they have a Nissa and Nissa's awesome. But the good news is that means that Niv Mizzet will likely resolve. They could still have Quench. Okay. I'll, I'll fix this for tomorrow. Or I could fix it after this league, but... And so this is what our niv Mizza does. In this deck. <laughs> Draw five. Five's a little too many cards to have right now, I guess. So we'll discard... Discard the Growth Spiral, and... Alright, so I'm probably going to play Clary on the next turn. We'll get rid of this Teferi also. No, no, no. Don't, definitely do not want to discard a Niv Misery Born. I mean, they're just... As we saw there, they're just like draw fives, basically. So like after we use these cards, then we want to drop another Niv Mizzet and then have a new hand and then use those cards and then drop the other Niv Mizzet and have a new hand. So we don't want to get rid of the Niv Mizzets. Um, I like how uh, Tyrant Scorn, the deck, like those are instant speed removal spells that are very cheap. I like having cheap cards. Here as well. The land fights for us. Yeah, so it's it's definitely so it's a bit rate problem, so for y'all getting that lag a little bit ago. I need to I need to change the bit rate back to where I had it yesterday. Yeah, it looks like it's it's back to being fine now. That's the the problem we had earlier. I wonder if yeah, y'all said that you had some problems there. I didn't really have too much problems on my end. I wonder if the recording um, on YouTube if it had some lag there at the beginning of the match. Okay. That's fine, that can get negated.
but we lost like 25% of the people that were watching. A little bit, a little bit ago, so that hurt. Don't really want to use the trophy, but I think that I'm supposed to. Okay, so we get so we get some choices. So we're gonna be taking Rampage and Mortify. So that's two. It's not a May. You have to you have to take them. You can't just you can't just uh, leave them in the library. So we're gonna take a Night of Autumn. So that's three. So we're only gonna really have room for two more. Let's take. Let's take Ionize, and trophy. Just take the cheap cards for now. Absent Hero is good. Yeah, it did really well against creature decks. It struggled against blue-white control, and I think it will just kind of struggle there against blue-white control. But besides that, it did very well. I don't know why I wouldn't block. I mean, obviously we have another Niv Mizzet, so just in case something happens, but... Ah, Cruelty. Because, yeah, we still got... Plenty O cards. Because Niv Mizzet's awesome. I don't know. I guess so. Sure, why not? Yeah, the, the thing that shows my bitrate kind of shows it kind of all over the place, like going up and down and everything. Colos. All right, so I'll go grab a temple. Um, we got plenty of green. 
I have four green, three white, two red, two blue. So yeah, we'll get we'll just get red blue. So I have four black. Yeah, I'll just I'll just lower the bitrate back to where we had it yesterday, because yesterday we didn't have any problems whatsoever. So I'll just lower it back to that. Cause yeah, internet's not the best, but we're going with what we got. You got me. Get him, Cerebus. All right, so the bottom of our library is now seven lands. So we know it's seven lands. I had it set at 2,500 yesterday. I started today, oh, I guess it's eight lands. Okay, so eight lands down at the bottom of our library. The bottom eight cards are all lands. I had it set at 2,500 yesterday. Today I tried it at 4,500. And then after it, after last time I moved it to 3,500 and still it's not being spectacular. So we'll change it again. No worries. All right, well, I kind of just wasted the Night of Autumn, but that's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Mad Parrot, I guess. Oh, whoops. I meant to play Ravager Worm, which would have been lethal. I kind of accidentally clicked clicked OK a little too fast. But now I don't want to just play Ravager Worm because of a sweeper. They're, they're not going to have a sweeper. I should just play it. Okay, well, I could have had lethal. Instead, we're just going to have to settle for lethal. I mean, I guess if I play Assassin's Trophy, there's like a slight chance that they have something that costs one mana. It's a really slight chance. So we'll just go this route of do damage to the thing with Clarion and then also Ravager Worm, eat it. And then the niv it gets in for six.
Okay. So they're like a, a counter ramp deck. They'll basically flash with Nissa in removal. I guess Vito doesn't get rid of. Vito doesn't counter Frilled Mystic. Which is kind of a problem. Definitely want Thought Erasure. Thought Erasure is good against Frilled Mystic. Being proactive. I have an eye and eyes. Absorb's kind of hard to cast. As far as counter magic goes. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so that's okay. Yeah, so that's ionize is a true counter spell. You can grab off Niv Trigger. I like. I think that's easier to cast probably than absorb. We're going to be hitting land drops. If their plan is to, like, counter my stuff... Well, I don't got stuff to counter. So, too bad. I hope they miss land drops and go to discard because <laughs> they can't counter my stuff. And land drops is good though. That's a good card. I guess by playing that Goblet Shrine. Oh. Well then. One mana away from being able to go time white plus veto. do this next turn. Or I could also
also just trophy on their turn. You want me to do that? Yeah, I gotta veto the Thrilled Mystic. Garouk. Hurts. The rest is a quality card that hurts. There you go. Nice, Joko. You're going to make an Oops All Gods deck with Theros. Sweet. Um, it's just really poor against Frilled Mystic. Just don't have good options against Frilled Mystic. Hopefully there's no Frilled Mystic, though. Like, if it's a regular Counterspell, it's not so bad. You know, it's just, you know, trades one for one. It's just the Frilled Mystic that trades and leaves the 3-2 body behind to really pressure. I do not have a white... Oh, there's a white-black temple. Okay. thought I would have white-black temples. Ugh, it's going to be tough. Ceratops. we go time wipe force them to use their counter spell here 
Oh, uh, then I guess. Oh, I guess I'm just dead. Yeah, I guess I'm just dead. If they have a counter. No counter. All right, we're not dead yet. Now we're dead. So Ceratops 2, huh? So Ceratops and Ambusher, those are definitely things I want instant speed removal spells for. Like Mortify. Trophy, not so bad either. We'll take out non-instant speed with Rampage. And get rid of a Clarion. Knight of Autumn's, uh, I guess, a little bit cheaper. They can just kind of get in the way of a Ceratops. I really wouldn't mind having another Veto. Maybe we take out Time Wipe? Sure, we'll take out Time Wipe. Yep, opponent's playing Soul Tide Flash. They're going bigger. You know, they got Nessa and Krasis as well. So they're going bigger. Gross Bottles was a big reason why I did well the first time. Getting those land drops. No. And if I did not have a temple there, I would not keep. But our 27 land deck with a temple to scry. And then, like, you know, we just draw a green or a blue source, and then we get to growth spirals. I felt good about it, but now I'm not feeling good about it. Top three cards not being land. We had about a twelve and a half percent chance of missing that land drop there. We had like a, you know, just cut it in half. Basically, we had like a six per six percent chance of missing that, of missing all those land drops. Yay! We're back in there. Mono red aggro and best of one for tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, first slot right right at noon. Absolutely. I got you, Candice. Thank you, thank you. Darn, didn't draw. Didn't draw like the untapped green land to be able to trophy this thing also. But yeah, they're untapping a breeding pool. The land shall conquer you. It's, it's not even like really that great to play. Hmm.
I guess I shouldn't wait till their turn to let them untap and have all that mana available. It's not really that great to play niv Mizzet because we'd have to, like, if we, you know, draw, like, six cards off niv Mizzets or whatever, then we'd have to discard everything. Nizza card's pretty good. This works. Hopefully. Right, we'll see how Trip Mizzet does. We're behind here with this Nissa. For sure. That's all we're doing. You know, they're just going to play a huge crisis, draw tons of cards. We're just going to sit here and wait and just see what happens with Niv Mizzet. I mean, we can't draw a land. We have this cool animation, though. And there goes all of our lands. Fourth Niv Mizzet. And a bunch of lands. Counter spells are good, but Nissa's even better. Nissa got us. Ugh. Forty minute match. Let's think about forty. You like. 
playing a long match like that and then losing is pretty defeating. Like when you play like that long of a match if you don't win. Like you'd rather lose in 20 minutes, not 40 minutes. Hmm. I think I need a mulligan. Well, <laughs> this deck will give you some sweet looking opening hands, that's for sure. So I'll go ahead and put back the card that has two colors of mana that we can't cast. We don't have blue or red right now. Krasis would be nice. I like I like Krasis with with all these lands, but of course we need to look for you know we don't have blue mana for Krasis right now. So drawing a Temple of Epiphany would be nice. That was a pretty fast drill bit. Yeah, we we did we definitely we just don't have room for basic lands. Yeah, basic land for trophy would be nice, but we we don't have that luxury in this deck. Let's just That's not going to be something we're ever going to ever going to have. That Paragon hurt. I mean, they're just holding up another Paragon. I guess we could see what we draw. Oh, when the Clarion would let us stabilize for a little bit, but no, not at all. Alright, so against Aggro, we got another Enter the God Eternals, another Clarion, a couple more of those, probably one another trophy. Getting getting this gutter pones out card out of here for good. Isn't easy. So 62. 61. Let's play one time light. Yeah, the the sealed tokens means that that's that's an entry to playing a sealed event on arena. A sealed event is where you um, good card. It's the limited event where you open up six packs and play with the the cards that you open. Hmm, not find our lands this time. Yeah, so yeah, it usually costs two thousand gems. We're playing against red black aggro.
<laughs> there are no lands in here. We put three big spells down to the bottom. And we still drawn three or drawn three big spells. You like the, the full art lands in Theros? I'm kind of medium on them. I don't, I don't dislike them, but I don't, I don't love them. They're just, they're just kind of real similar to other full art lands. To me. Blacklands Paragon drill bit combo has looked really nice for my opponent. This would be a good time to draw a Clarion. Wild BTK back for 21 months. Thank you so much for continuing to keep that Twitch Prime sub going each and every month. Thank you so much there, Wild BTK. No Clarions. We could play more Clarions. I don't know. I guess you're only allowed to play four. Never mind. That's all we had. Yeah, we died. Whoops. Hey, Boot. Happy Friday. We got um, enough subs for a 12-hour stream tomorrow. There you go. You played the event with Elspeth. You went 3-0. Awesome. Yeah, I, I liked the Elspeth deck myself. I think that Ashiok was more popular. But yeah, I liked the Elspeth deck more. All right, Gross Spiral. We got the mana for Gross Spiral. Playing Versa Breeding Pool. There's our red. All right, we got all the colors. Red, black, blue. Yeah. Um, sure, Gross Spiral is a good card to have. A good turn four. <clears throat> I 
We're just gotta get Nissa out of here, obviously. You know, I would have liked to play Niv Mizzet. This isn't good. This isn't good. Looking for those Clarions. I guess I don't have the white for Time Wipe. Hmm. Let's see what this top card is. If it's Clarion... Okay, it's not. Uh, what am I at? 13? I guess I'll just take a. I guess I'll just take a Knight of Autumn. Never mind. <laughs> Not taking Knight of Autumn. All right, we'll, we'll have Clarion for next turn, which we won't have. <sighs> One turn too late. All right, another Dispark, another Time Wipe. Another Clarion. Um, I'm not sure I want put this over to fairy. I'm not sure about. I don't know, I guess just some of these cards. This is tough part about playing inter interaction spells. Hmm. I wonder if, like, I wonder what Unmored Ego could do. Would want to take Finale, Agent of Treachery. Basically, Agent of Treachery. We'll just play a couple Thought Erasures. They're never going to run out of cards. They never do. So maybe we'll play just two Thought Erasures instead. Got those colors already. Rampage is basically just for Nissa. Oh, what an annoying hand. Uh, deck overview for tomorrow, not completely. I do need to get lands for Golas, but 
But I really want red mana, but obviously Golos could get red mana for me. I guess I have to keep it. I can't... I can't miss the, that land drop to be able to not, not be able to play Golos. You know, like if we get stuck on four lands, that would be the worst case scenario. Back up Niv. Niv's gonna get ether gusted. That was pretty perfect. Anyway, sorry, I have I do have three donation decks for tomorrow. Um so I know we're going to be playing uh, mono, mono red best of one. I have a Demir, Demir mill control and a Mardu control. So we have those three donation decks for tomorrow. And not sure about the rest of the decks. Maybe we'll try bringing back Quasi Dupla Ooze. The fun one. Try to get as many. Oozes as possible. I mean, if if their only thing is just Ether Gust, I want to time wipe. But if they have like a counter spell, I don't really want time wipe getting countered. But I can't really keep it from getting countered, to be honest. Could attack for three first. That three points doesn't doesn't matter too much. In the great scheme of things. I'll just play this. It's a lot of cards, a lot of lands. Can't pay for a mystical dispute, unfortunately. Harness the elements. Resident is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, we did. All right, so there we go. Uh, we'll just kind of end it there. Um, 
Got to do some cool stuff with the five color Nev Mezib, but as you can see, consistency issues and other decks looking pretty great. Uh, we didn't we didn't play against people like you know our opponents weren't stumbling at all, which is something that we would prefer with a deck like this that's slower and trying to get get going with trying to play all five colors. But it's a colorful deck. It's a fun one uh, whenever we can get it going. But that's the price to pay five colors. You're not always going to get the deck going. It's not always going to look great. That's all right, though. Um, but anyway, that's five color Niv Mizzet. If you want a spicy one, you know, for F and M, uh, this deck, uh, this deck, this deck's there. You know, this, this is a pretty sweet spicy one. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, hit that like and subscribe buttons over there, of course. And of course, feel free to leave comments. But thank you so much for watching some five color Niv Mizzet, and I'll see you for the next video.